Hello and welcome to Informatica support videos. This is Asmita from Informatica GCS and in this video we will see how to create concurrent workflow in Power Center. The agenda of this video is introduction to concurrent workflow, use case and type of concurrent workflow configuration, steps to enable concurrent workflow and then we will see a demo of the same. What is concurrent workflow? A workflow instance is an executional representation of a workflow. You can run as many instances of the workflow concurrently using this concurrent workflow. This feature of Informatica allows same workflow to have two or more running instances in parallel. Each instance may run with the same parameters or different parameters based on the configuration you did. The IS defines each workflow run instance by a run ID. Now let's go ahead and see use case and types of concurrent workflow configuration. Suppose you have an application which needs, which needs to run on various location at the same time. So in such kind of situation, you can run each instance of the workflow in each location using the concurrent workflow. This is also used in concurrent file processing. Suppose a source file say A came into came for the execution into the workflow and the workflow is running concurrently. And suppose another source file say B comes and you want to process it parallelly and not sequentially, then in such kind of scenarios, you can use concurrent workflow. This is also used to add scalab scalability to web servers. Load balancer required to execute multiple instances of the same web service when there is more load. So in this kind of situation, concurrent workflow is helpful. Now let's see what are the types of concurrent workflow configuration. Workflows with the same instance name run concurrently and unique workflow instance name run concurrently. So these are the two types of concurrent workflow configuration. We will see more details in the demo session. Now how to enable concurrent workflow? You need to simply go to your workflow and then in the properties basically the workflow properties, you can configure concurrent execution, you can provide the parameters required and the, and the instance name and then you can execute the ex advanced workflow. You can use variables or parameters for each workflow and you can also monitor and control the concurrent run instances like you can abort, you can start etc. So let's go ahead and get more details on this with the demo. For the demo, I have created this particular mapping. Now I will go and uh, show you my workflow. So uh, this is my uh, workflow which I have created using the same mapping. Now I will go to my workflow and uh, edit the same. Once I edit this, we will uh, see the option con configure concurrent execution. We will just click on this and then we will go to the option which got highlighted. You can use either of them. So basically you can use allow con concurrent run with the same instance name or you can use allow concurrent run with a multiple instance name. So in this, you will have to give different instance name for each run instance and for the above one you can use the same instance name for uh, multiple instances so i will just use the first option and add two or three instances here i'll say okay we'll just apply and then we will click okay once that is done we will save our uh, changes once the changes are saved what we can do is we need to just right click on this and we need to start workflow advanced. So with this 
we will see that uh, you can you can select whatever instance you want to run say if you want to select run instance 1 and run instance 2 or if you want to clear all you can just clear all or select some or select all of them uh, depending upon your use and then you can select the integration service whatever you want to use and and then you need to click on ok once i click ok i'll just show you what exactly happens in the workflow monitor so i'll just click ok here and i'll take you to workflow monitor so you see three times this uh, option came for us which means that three times the workflow instance got started so we see once we are uh, running that we see that three instances of the same workflow are running here you can see the run instance name in the braces here with this we finish our demo session you can try using it uh, with or without the parameter files and you can try using with the different unique uh, run instance name or uh, with the same instance name you can Try this and let us know if you have any further queries. You can refer to our knowledge base articles. The link for the same is given in the slide. You can refer to our command reference guide as well in case you need any reference for the commands. We would love to hear from you. You can write to us on support videos at the rate informatica.com or tweet us on infasupport. Thank you so much for your time.